Hi friends, uh, this is Dr. Nikhil Agarwal. I am Principal Consultant of Gastrointestinal and HPB uh, Surgical Oncology at Max Institute of Cancer Care at Max Hospitals. Uh, today we will talk about gastrointestinal cancers and how can we avoid them. So gastrointestinal cancers as a group are one of the most common cancers worldwide. Now our gastrointestinal system includes esophagus, stomach, liver, gallbladder, pancreas, colon, rectum and small intestine. So uh, the cancers of these organs are together called gastrointestinal cancers. The problem with these cancers or our gastrointestinal system is that it is encased in a protective abdominal wall. So by the time we usually detect them, it's usually late. And the management and the outcome of these cancers depend on the stage at which we detect them. So if we detect them early, we can treat them better and outcome is good. But because of uh, their presentation, it's usually late when we detect them. So the best way is to avoid them. Now how to avoid these cancers? We cannot completely uh, avoid any cancer, but we can decrease our chances of getting a cancer by following certain things such as regular healthy diet. So we should make sure that we eat healthy diet. We don't eat a lot of junk food. We should also maintain a healthy weight. It means that we should not be uh, overweight and if somebody is overweight, we should uh, try to decrease it by diet and uh, regular exercise. Everybody is hard pressed for time, but some amount of exercise is very important for us and we should regularly do exercise and we should uh, take out some time to uh, do exercise. Third is that we should avoid tobacco and alcohol in any form. They have very detrimental inf uh, impact on our health and they uh, do increase our chances of getting uh, cancer. We should also get, uh, get vaccinated against certain diseases such as hepatitis B and uh, by doing this we can decrease uh, risk of certain cancers such as uh, liver cancer. Then we should also make sure that uh, we should regularly get screened. So apart from routine health checkups which we know, a certain uh, proportion of us would be eligible to get screened for cancers. So for an example, we can get screened for colorectal cancer beyond the age of 50. Now by doing screening, we can detect cancers at an earlier stage before they have become symptomatic and we can get a very good outcome. So friends, uh, follow these things and reduce your chances of getting cancer. Stay alert, stay healthy. Thank you.